let's move on to the second function um second program which is to write a java program to implement the stack using arrays okay so we'll be creating a stack using arrays and we'll be defining three functions push pop and display okay so let me give you a brief information about what is a stack a stack is nothing but an array normal array okay we'll have the elements here and one thing in uh, stack is that we we should insert the elements from one end and delete the element also from the same end okay so for example if we have inserted the elements um from here okay one two three okay so the top will be pointing here top is nothing but a variable storing the location of these okay so we'll have the locations right uh, suppose that the array is like this zero one two three four this is the top of the stack it has the second location now if you want to insert any element change this top position to this and then in, uh, insert the element here or if you want to delete the element what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, making the top here so the array, array will be considered this much only okay so that's the push and pop operation and display means we'll start from here uh, i mean we'll start from the top and we'll uh, move on till zero and uh, in the each iteration we'll be displaying the elements okay that's for the display operation let's see how to code this uh, same function in java for implementing this program we'll be creating a class go to new and create a class from here okay and name it as stack okay and we need a uh, main function here and click on finish now after it's created um, it is this comment and we'll be coding the first one which is um, we'll be defining what is a class okay creating the uh, class for stack we'll have these uh, data members okay suppose that this is the class stack we'll have three data members first is an array integer array and second one is max to uh, know how many elements are there in the array okay third one is top okay top will point to the last element insert in the array okay array stack okay this is the class which we are defining inside uh, this will have three things first one is int array okay so we'll have int array and int top and max okay so these are three data members inside the class okay and there are four functions first one is array stack okay array stack is for initializing the data members all right along with that we have um, four functions first one is array stack okay what does this function do by using this function you can initialize the array and um, initialize the max value means how many elements can be inserted inside the stack that limit you can set and you can initialize top as minus one because initially top will be minus one okay suppose that this is the array and uh, the top will be pointing to minus one so this location is minus one this will be starting from zero what's an array stack inside the array stack we'll have max is equal to n so by using this function we'll initialize whatever the user enters the value as n that will be inside max okay so next one we have to initialize the array okay array is equal to new int max so max whatever the uh, be the value that much um, size array will be created and top is equal to minus one initially okay now the second function is void push what is void push whenever you want to insert an element you will do a of plus plus top okay what will pl plus plus top do minus one plus plus one means a of zero whatever element you have to insert will be stored here next again plus plus top will insert here in that way we will be storing the elements so for that initially we will uh, initialize the top as minus one okay the next function is void push okay what does a push function do push function will have nothing it will check if the element is uh, full means top is in the max position if it's in the max position that time we will not insert any element and we will print as stack overflow okay or else what we'll print we'll print as uh, array of plus plus top and insert the element which the user has inserted okay that will be stored in the next position in void push we'll have these functions okay to insert any element okay if you have to insert any element we'll be using void push and we'll be checking if top is equal to equal to max minus one means if to, uh, the top is in the max position if the array is full then we'll be printing stack overflow or else we will be inserting the element where we will be inserting the element array of plus plus top okay so we will be incrementing the top by one and we will be inserting the element which is the element i i the user has sent right that will be inserting in the top element okay the third one is pop okay 
what does the pop function do so if this is the array and top is pointing here pop will make the top point here okay so in that way we'll uh, consider the stack from here only this element will not be considered okay and uh, another case when stack is uh, underflow means if the top is pointing to the minus one position means there are no elements in the array at that time we'll print stack is underflow in the pop function we'll have we'll have to check if the stack is empty how we'll check that if top is minus one that means the um, array is empty okay so we'll be printing stack underflow okay stack underflow else if the stack is not empty we will have to insert the we will have to delete the element okay to delete the element we will create a element this is just for printing okay or else we can just directly delete by top minus minus okay and we since we got uh, which element is deleted and we have to print that uh, the particular element is deleted okay for confirmation purpose we will be printing it okay so we will be writing popped element is then concatenate it and print the element okay all right we have done the three functions and the last function remaining is display what does a uh, display function do and to um, display function we will start from the top and we will move on to the uh, downward direction in each iteration we will print the elements okay that is the display function see in display function will be showing all the values of the current stack okay void display and in the display function we'll have we'll be printing the stack contents okay so it will be showing as stack is equal to then in the next line we'll be checking if it's empty or not if it's empty what we'll be printing we'll be printing the array is empty okay so we'll be just printing stack is equal to empty else if it's not empty what we have to do see here else if it's not empty then we have to print all the elements right so for that we'll be using for loop for int i is equal to top it will start from the top and we will be printing one by one okay till last element where will be the last element at i of zero okay and here if uh, it's empty we have to not execute any further statement so we'll put a return statement here okay all right then uh, inside this for loop what we'll be doing we'll be printing each element so how will how will we do that first we'll be printing array of i so the i is the top so first top element will be printed and along with that we have to print a space okay to separate the different elements okay after this uh, for loop we have to write a next line statement that's it it will print the next line here okay so this is all about the functions next we have the main function here what is the main function do initially in the main function we have to write the scanner class so we will import to take the user input we have to write import java dot util dot scanner okay so this will import the scanner class for taking the input now after uh, writing import statement we have to create the instance of the class object of input so for that we'll be writing scanner scan is equal to new scanner system dot in okay system dot in now after writing this we have to print out to the user to enter the size of the stack okay initially we had um, made the stack as max right so that max will be sending to the stack function okay enter the size of the integer stack okay after this we'll be getting the number where we'll be storing we'll be creating a variable n and inside that n we'll have the number which the user enters for integers we'll use next int all right after getting that number we'll be sending this number to array stack okay array stack we'll be creating a stack now array stack is equal to array stack the name we can keep as stk is equal to new array 
stack okay so new array stack will create a stack which is having n elements in it and next we'll be using a flag boolean you will get to know what it is okay boolean done is equal to false initially it will be false so why we are using this flag since we are uh, creating a menu in that how many times the user want he should be able to enter the values okay means choose the functions so while not done see not done what it will do done is equal to false not done means true while true what should uh, be executed the cases see here what are the cases firstly sys out so we'll have printed all these uh, statements stack operations and the user will be able to choose between push pop display or exit okay and that choice will be stored in this variable in choice okay by using scan next now after doing that we have to uh, go to the switch statement depending on the choice we have to show to the user what um, the function is getting executed okay so we'll switch choice and depending on the choice the user will be able to uh, enter the statements okay so in case one what's the case one case one is push right so in uh, the case of push you have to say what element you have to um, push what element you want to in, uh, insert so enter the integer to be inserted that we have to save in um, stk dot push scan dot next int see what happened in this code in this code uh, we will be taking the integer okay the integer to be inserted the whatever the user enters and that will be sent to stk dot push what is stk dot push the function where the int i will be coming and inside this int i it will be inserted in the array of plus plus top so in, it will be inserted in the array whatever the user enters here okay so we'll have to type the keyword break so that the remaining uh, ex uh, remaining statements will not be executed okay so after that the next case is pop okay so in pop what we'll be doing is we'll be just calling stk dot pop okay so it will delete the um, top element and we'll be typing break here okay then in case 3 we have to display so it's simple stk dot display it will call the display function of the um, it will call the display function of the stack and it will display all the elements okay then in case 4 it's exit so in case 4 we will be uh, making done as true okay what will happen when de uh, done is true see here this uh, function should be executed only when not done is true so when we make here done as true not done will become false so while false it will not be executing these statements and it will come out of the loop okay so uh, this is the exit statement and if, if the user enters any choice rather th uh, other than 1 2 3 and 4 at that time what should be printed we'll be using default and you can print anything like enter a valid choice or invalid choice or anything okay invalid choice okay so after that we'll be writing a break statement and this um, ends the code okay and we'll have to uh, close the scanner object which we created so for that we'll be typing scan dot close okay so click here and it's asking to enter the size of the integer stack okay, i'll be entering three and we can perform the following operations push okay enter the integer to be inserted one and we'll see if the element is inserted see here stack is equal to one uh, actually i made a mistake here i should not put a slash in okay or else this will be appearing here okay let's move on to the next one which is push okay i'll be entering the second one we'll, we'll be checking for overflow then it should not in, uh, take more than three elements okay so all the elements are inserted see here in display we'll have three uh, elements if you try to push and uh, if we insert any element example four it should uh, show stack overflow okay that's the first one second one is pop okay so popped element is three and when we try to see the elements it's two and one okay again we'll be doing pop and again and uh, one more time so since the stack is underflow means uh, the stack is empty it will show underflow okay and three display stack is equal to empty if the stack is empty it will show stack is equal to empty and that's it four means exit and uh, this is the end of this uh, program okay